Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at series 13 of the Dirty to Clean Color Changer series by Spin Master and Monster Jam. Now we have already actually seen this entire assortment revealed on Spin Master Power Zone's YouTube channel when it was actually demoing how to use these new color changers, but uh, this is our first time actually seeing them in great detail. So today I'm going to review all of them for you. This assortment of course has the brand new Thunderbus, which people have been very uh, interested to see its actual decals and the design. So uh, I'm very excited to have this here on hand for review today. I wanna to note that this is coming out before the singles one will be out, uh, but there will be a normal edition in singles uh, in the far end of 2021 probably closer to 2022 going by the way distribution is happening right now but uh, at some point there will be a normal version of Thunderbus and Thunderbus is against the dragon for good reason I'll show you why in a moment but we're not going to start with this pack we're actually going to start with the uh, kind of southern versus northern uh, pack here. So we have the El Toro Loco versus the Canadian truck here. So it's a really cool uh, matchup if you understand why they paired them up. Uh, so we have two classic Monster Jam trucks. Uh, so here's the packaging as usual, same stuff going on. Uh, the Series 13 label in red, and then the back of the box here uh, with all the renderings of each truck. You can see we also have Soldier Fortune uh, versus Zombie and Grave Digger Green Ghost versus Calavera. This is a print error. This is not Black Ops. It's going to be normal Soldier Fortune. So uh, there it is. And then we have uh, the two trucks inside the pack and then the demo of the uh, temperatures of water, how to change them. So I'm going to unbox this. This will be the only one I actually show unboxing on camera. And then we'll do the actual color change demo. So here we go. Okay, so El Toro Loco and Northern Nightmare, two very familiar faces from the normal uh, standard Moss Jam fleet. So it's very nice to have them in this uh, Dirty to Clean series because these were trucks that you would usually see on the circuit. Right now, Northern Nightmare is not currently running any shows, but El Toro Loco is definitely still out there. So uh, we're gonna change Northern Nightmare first. Uh, the mud pattern seems to be a little light, so I'm actually gonna bring it back uh, if it will. Uh, sometimes my early samples have a light coat of mud, uh, but you can still see it here. Okay, I switched the uh, the cups around because I had the warm on the left side, which I usually have on the right. So uh, here's the muddy edition of Northern Nightmare, and we're going to clean that up there. Uh, so you can see the normal Northern Nightmare as we usually would have in any uh, normal series. So you can see there's the cleaned up body. It also has red rims and then that standard black roll cage with the marble uh, dark brown and brown chassis and that kind of offset color tire choice that they've had. So uh, there is the Northern Nightmare and now we have the Crazy Bull. It looks like the mud pattern for this has uh, stayed on pretty well. It's pretty heavy as well. So uh, let's go ahead and change it up, clean it up I should say. And here it is, the El Toro Loco cleaned up. Uh, looks very nice. Of course, just a standard El Toro Loco now, but uh, let's bring it back to its muddy version. Again, uh, I recommend using, actually I really mean you should only use ice water for this because it takes pretty cold water to change these back to how they were. So uh, there's some dark mud, it actually darkened it up uh, significantly. And you can see there's some on the hood and a little bit on the roof there. So there's El Toro and Northern Nightmare coming back now. Uh, this one has a little less mud, so it's harder to see, but uh, there's the Northern Nightmare. And next up is the pack with the Soldier Fortune and Zombie. And here they are, Soldier Fortune and Zombie. So Zombie has a pretty light coat of mud, but Soldier Fortune's a little more noticeable on its side panels. We will do Soldier Fortune first, so uh, let's just clean it up so we can see the uh, normal decals here. So there is the cleaned up Soldier Fortune. Uh, there is some updates to this Soldier Fortune. They do have the printing on this sidebar here, uh, but they do not have it on the top here. So we've kind of been going back and forth with Soldier Fortune where it'll have these updates and then it won't. Uh, so far we have not had a fully updated Soldier Fortune for the singles packs, but uh, there's some things for the design team to note. Uh, also this, um, this bar up here needs to be painted black, but uh, those are just little things. So there's Soldier Fortune, let's change it back to the mud. Actually, I should have done zombie, but uh, let's change it back to muddy. 
and that definitely darkened up the mud on that second go around. So there's the muddy version of Soldier Fortune. So it looks really good there. And uh, next up is Zombie. Also, I just want to note that the uh, the rims are the same as the body, so it's not really much of a change besides the new chassis color. And then uh, Zombie here. So I want to uh, change it to the clean version, then we'll check it out uh, with the darker mud because it's going to darken up here. So let's clean up Zombie. Classic Moss Gem truck here as well. So there's the cleaned up version, um, as we've seen many times before. And uh, let's change it back and bring the mud on stronger with this cold water. And uh, there we go. So uh, I guess you can't really see it much on this one. A little light on the mud coat for a zombie as well. But you can see on the bottom a little bit, a little bit on the face there uh, and a tiny bit there. But uh, yeah, that's zombie there with the red rims. So here they are, a classic, of course, the Green Ghost Grave Digger that everyone always loves seeing in special and normal series. And then we have the new face here, Calavera from Mix 14. Uh, Spin Master Moss Gem. I do have the normal one here to show you uh, with the Boneyard Trucks roll cage. Basically, the only thing that's changed is the mud on the body, the roll cage, and the chassis color. Uh, the rims and everything else kind of stayed the same. And then Green Ghost Gravedigger actually has an update that was noted in its Reveal the Steel one from last year. So this has had two color shifter uh, changes. Uh, the mouth there was actually changed by the design team to be accurate or more accurate to the real life truck. Also, if you'll see on the one I'm about to show you, the Spin Master, Moss Gym, and other Tombstone logos have been significantly cleared up uh, compared to that past Reveal the Steel and other versions. So you can see uh, these are very, very clear now. I'm not sure how they're doing that, but these are extremely clear on this new version. So let's check out the cleaned up Calavera. So here goes Calavera to clean it up, and then we'll check it out uh, with the mud on it again. So there is the Calavera, if I can focus the camera. There we go. So you can see all of these skulls on the side. So the Mexican holiday, uh, Dia de los Muertos, actually, uh, these are skulls or candy skulls are usually just paper mache skulls that they decorate with like flowers and uh, different art forms. But um, Calavera actually translates to skull in English, but these things are actually what they call Calaveras when they design them. So kind of a dual meeting there for uh, this truck. And it's really cool that they have this uh, to celebrate that holiday, as I mentioned when I reviewed it before. Uh, and if you notice, I've actually noticed this uh, thanks to a friend of mine, uh, the skull patterns actually are shifted every single time or changed every single time you see them. So they're not all the same every time you see them on the body. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And there's the back there with mossgym.com, Calavera, the roof there. And uh, let's change it back to the mud. And then we'll check out Green Ghost. So uh, you can see on these kind of brighter designs, it's harder to see with the mud. They definitely should be spraying this with more mud. Um, just because I feel like you don't really get much mud out of these, but uh, there's the Calavera, and now we have the all too well known uh, Green Ghost Grave Digger. So let's clean it up, although it's not very muddy at the moment. Uh, here's the cleaned up version, and uh, let's change it back to the mud. And on this one, also, they didn't really go heavy with it. Uh, you can see some on the side panel, a little bit on the hood and a little bit on this side too. But uh, it looks like my samples this time just didn't get much mud. Uh, El Toro Loco was really the only muddy uh, addition that we had this time around, but there's the Green Ghost Grave Digger. It also has these neon uh, retro rims and the tires as well that are retro. So if you guys need uh, neon green rims for any retro trucks, there's your chance to get them. Okay, so here they are, Dragon and the Thunderbus. So Thunderbus is actually a brand new concept by Jordan at Spin Master. I've mentioned him many times in my past videos. If you wanna follow him, his account is Lupo Laser on Instagram. He is the designer for the Mostrium uh, products at Spin Master. And this truck is actually all of his own artwork, if I recall correctly. I believe it is all his artwork. He's a uh, was and still is a character designer. So this stuff definitely is uh, his forte. And a lot of his different little uh, influences are on this truck. So we're going to check that out in a moment, but we're going to do the Dragon first to get it out of the way. Uh, it has these nice dark green rims and uh, that muddy pattern. So let's clean it up and then check it out. And there's a reason Dragon is in this pack, and I'll show you in just a moment. But uh, there's the cleaned up Dragon that we all know, very standard here. Let's change it back to muddy. And on the wings here. Okay, so uh, this one actually got a good mud coat. So you can see it's got some in the wings, it's got some on the side panel, uh, definitely on the hood there, and definitely more on this side as well. So there's Dragon. All right, that's the last we got to see of the Dragon. Now we can get into the Thunderbus. Also, the other big thing you'll notice is that this truck is, of course, the Mystery Machine uh, from the Scooby-Doo 2-Pack. We've also had it in Reveal the Steel, 
and in the Curse of the Gasoline um, three pack with the 124 scale Green Ghost Grave Digger. So this is the Mystery Machine casting. However, he has changed the front insert here to match the theme of the truck. So they changed that up. They also uh, added new headlights and grill printing for this, but uh, it's nice to have that Mystery Machine van casting back. So Thunderbus is actually a split uh, design. So we have on this side, the uh, caveman or Viking or something here um, defending his land against this dragon. So that's the reason why we have the dragon in the pack. Uh, but on the other side, it actually has the unicorn. And if you notice how familiar this unicorn looks, this is actually Sparkle Smash. And that's his favorite uh, design that he's ever done at Spin Master. At least uh, last time I talked to him, it was his favorite. So Sparkle Smash uh, is right here. So this pack actually would have worked if he put Sparkle Smash against it or Dragon. Uh, but I think that uh, they honestly probably should have done Sparkle Smash to add a little more uh, character to it. But uh, yeah, we have Sparkle Smash on this side and we have the Dragon on the other side. Uh, either way, this truck works with those two pairings. You can see on this side, actually, let me clean this up so you can see it better. I apologize for that so you can see on this side we have that caveman kind of viking guy uh with the dragon with that pink lightning flying out uh, we got like this whirlpool in the background of um energy or light i can't really tell what's going on there but we have some rocks getting split up we have like a mountain here thunderbuss's logo really sick there so i love this artwork i love how it takes up the entire body this giant surface area to print on and then on this side we have a different viking with a different helmet um some kind of sword in his hand and a volcano in the background. And then we have uh, the unicorn with the pink lightning coming down as well. And then the Thunderbus logo and some swords uh, right there. So that's really awesome. And then there's that grill printing, the headlights, are printed in that new insert with these two battle axes and shield with the monster jam logo uh, there's the windshield and the roof there has some white stripes on the top and then the tailgate is printed on as well with the thunderbus logo that kind of whirlpool of light and energy and then we have the two tail lights in yellow so it's an awesome truck i can't wait to see it in singles packs and i think that this truck is just absolutely incredible so uh, let's change it back to muddy and then we'll sign out of this video this has been a really cool uh, Dirty to Clean series. So uh, here's some dirt. You can see a little bit of it. It's hard to see it on this truck because it's a lot of dirt tones. But um, yeah, Thunderbus for the uh, Dirty to Clean series. And then, of course, in the singles packs from the Alternate Dimension series later this year. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please let me know what you guys think about Thunderbus and the other trucks in this assortment in the comments below. And until next time, this is Ryan or Monster Jam OCD signing out.